All right, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and do a showcase. It was something that people were shouting for in the comments. So we're going to do a show showcase of this build. We I did make one small minor adjustment to this build, but um, we'll be show we'll be showing that here at the end as well. We're going to go ahead and showcase starting it off with a pit. Um, we're doing this live. I'm not doing any editing or anything like this saying, hey, this is my best run and all. No, we're going straight through. This is all candid. And whatever happens, happens. If I pause, if I screw up, then, you know, all that stuff, just like this. If I don't run through here the correct way, then I just don't run here through the correct, the correct way. This build is meant for people that don't give a crap about mechanics. <laughs> if you push the button too many times like I do, it's for people that do that too. You know, like say I, I spin there three times instead of two times or spin there uh, three times instead of one time. It's not needed. So that's this is specifically what this build is for. It's for people that just want to lazily play the game and have fun. Um, build is optimized. We did try different things today, such as changing out some gear. We also tried different skills, such as leap or charge. Didn't work for us. The reason why it didn't work for us, because this build is mainly a non-touchy build. So this is kind of like a drive-by speed build. Um, you drive by with the Terriel's Might, and you, you get out of there before the popo comes. That's exactly what you do. Like, uh-oh. Okay, we hit him up. Okay, drive by. Oh, we need to get out. Here comes the popo. Oops. And um, get out of there. That's what you do. This is what this build is all about. So if you make mistakes, if you don't want to be sweaty and have beads of sweat running down your face, this is the build for you. All right, so we're at the boss at a minute and 40 seconds. You could go faster, like I said. This is always usually going to be a, a rupture right there. So that was a minute 45 seconds. Like I said, it's going to be candid. We could go faster. We could go slower. Um, but as you can saw, when I ruptured the boss, the bus was the bar was all dark. That's when you want to use the rupture. That's the only time you use rupture in this build. But this build, you don't have to change if you're doing this, if you're going to Duriel, if you're going to um, any other. Ah, well, look, I'm trying to click it. You know, I clicked that like 50 million times. Um, if you want to do any Uber bosses, anything of that nature, you don't have to change one thing on this build. Um, best way to do this, too, by the way, is Fury. There are folks having troubles with Fury. Um, you could always change your skill right here from strategic rallying cry to tactical rallying cry. If you're having any um, issues, I'll go over that when I go over the build. But for the sake of this, I'm going to show you, you don't ever have to touch that screen. Uh, let's see here. We're, we're on our way to Duriel. Yeah, you, I mean, you never have to touch the build. You just go in there with this, with ever, anything. So pits 101 speed is what we're looking for. The drive by here. We're going to go ahead and do tormented Duriel. Tormented now, which is the up version of the boss. So the way to get by without changing it to Fury is when you run by these ads on any of these bosses, there's no, usually always ads, right? You just run by. Remember, it's a drive-by build. Check out my Fury. See how my Fury is up? I'm going to go ahead and spin a little bit too. But my Fury is up. So all you do is you do that. You go ahead and hit that altar really quick. There you go. If you're doing it with a group of people, pick that other skill. But if you're not, you're doing it alone, just do that. Here comes those uh, boys. Just go ahead and spin them. Don't waste any of your cooldowns, by the way. Just spin and kill those things. Now, when Duriel comes up, this is when you want to blast your cooldowns. You want to kill him in just a few seconds, just like that. Did I change my build any? Heck no. We came in here and we killed us, but that was a shotgun to the face. Look at that nasty blood. Now, 
as a part of the uh, showcase that we're going on, uh, we're going to go ahead and go over to Helltide. Does it work in Helltide? Because, you know, you do want to farm Helltide. You want to farm for your friends. You want your friends to, uh, you know, get those shards for uh, the Ubers or, or for yourself. You know, have them do this as well. You guys just create the characters. Now, let's let's go ahead and see if we could find uh, that, that woman's face. Where's she at? I don't even know where she's at. The Maiden. Where does the Maiden spawn? Anybody know? We're gonna find her one of these days. Here, let's let's go ahead and just kill a little bit in here. So this is this is the fun part about Helltide. You could just run around Helltide, spin to win. It's just like pretend like you're in a pit. You could actually use Helltide to practice like you're in a pit, so you don't have to spin. Like this is this is what I should be doing. I should actually come in here and practice just spinning once. That's what I should be doing, but I don't. Unfortunately, I spin way too much, and I'm still doing it even in Helltide. I don't know what my problem is, but it just happens. But either way, uh, where is the Maiden? Where's the Fair Maiden? Um, we don't have the Fair Maiden here. Okay, I guess we're going to go ahead and run down here, because I guess the Maiden's down there. So let's just go ahead. So this is just a showcase of, uh, hey, I'm running through Helltide. Not even getting touched, not even getting killed. Remember, we're only at 20... 5,000 hit points. That's it. You get more. You can put rubies into your armor if you do want more hit points. Not necessarily needed, but we are we are actually still overkill too, by the way, on damage. So that's a thing. Oh, little tidbit here. If you do these events like these, um, the events are the best way to farm. In fact, we're going to just do this. This one, we're just going to spin here in the middle, kill the portals. See, we're done. This is how you could get fragments um, for gems and angel breath. Look at that. 10 angel breath. And we have no room. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, yeah, the other tidbit. Remember, get rid of your armors first that are yellow and then just yellow items in general but um you want to fill up with the good stuff for the good monies all right i have no clue where the maiden is up there's the maiden way up there unfortunately we're all the way down here let's go down here and double check oh you know what by the way another tidbit this right here Notice that there's a line. That event happened right here, right? If you go back and forth between this, a lot of times it will reset this uh, this event. So you, you may want to go back and forth between this, but only during Helltide because of the people is, is the reason why you'd want to do that. Um, to reset that event over and over if you want to. Or you can port to town, either way. Okay, the good news is this woman, this uh, thing is right here. So we're going to go ahead and start it. All right, nobody's here. That's fine. You could solo this. You could have 10 people here. It honestly does not even matter. So uh, let, let, let me go pick up this pole arm and stuff. All right. So for this this one, all you do is you just sit here in the middle and spin. You just spin all day. You spin and slay. I'm just going to slay all day. Well, okay, there we go. Oh, we got another barb here. Let's see if they do it. Do. I'm still going to sit here, sit and spin and win. Slay all day. Yeah, see your friend, like say if this was one of my friends, they could just sit there and they don't have to do a thing. They just sit there and collect. You got your pet out. There you go. Remember when when the maiden comes out, this is when you blow all your cooldowns and rupture her at the end. You might not even have to rupture her because you might do so much, so much damage with the twisters. You don't even have to do the rupture. So let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even rupture her, but see how she just died that fast? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Just like that. Let's go ahead and loot up uh, that stuff. Oh, 
looks like I didn't uh, get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of... I forgot. I don't know if it was boots or gloves that were less expensive. Um, yeah, we're just, those boots and gloves look the same. Oh, I just traded it out for another pair of boots at 38k. All right. So that's that. That guy's starting it, but I'm not going to stay here. Um, actually, I, I will stay here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've done build-wise. So... Um, you're, we're going to go ahead with, uh, skills, no gear first. We still have decks in all the gear, as you can see. Um, as far as, oh, we're almost going to die. As far as, um, the weapons, I have traded out the sapphires for emeralds to get back to the crit strike trance. Uh, the reason being is down here at the bottom and i should have known about this because i remembered it but i forgot about it but now i remember it down here at the bottom with this skill the gushing wounds notice that it's 140 percent uh percent x of your critical strike damage bonus so we did the math and the math came out to like 8255 or something but let's kill let's kill her real quick you see what i'm saying we just killed her um, so we only get, uh, it was 700, I forgot what it was. It was low. So you got, we have that instead of using this Paragon because I, this one was a current bonus of 91% bleeding damage. So the other way is more damage. So if you want more damage, just go the other way. This is, or just go by. Uh, changing out your gems. This is why the main thing we we did with the gems. So now you got your Harlequin, Harlequin uh, Crest, Tyrael's Might. This is all the same guys, by the way. Um, your gauntlets. Hold on, let me go ahead and kill that one. Your legs, your pants. Um, I, I guess I could say what the aspects are, but you could look at the build in the link and it will sh it will tell you all the different aspects uh that are there grandfather bold chieftain of course starless guys dust devils this this build does rely very very heavily on having the ubers the ubers you want to try to get first materials so you don't have to touch anything then harlequin har the the shako see some more things to kill um damage and everything uh get a pole get a pole arm if you don't have the grandfather try to get the starless guys next or you know Tyrael's and the harlick and the starless and then the harlick the the shako and then the grandfather you just get last that's how you're going to want to do that one so here's your skills and expertise you have your technique which is just the two-handed your skills down here, you're going to use bludgeoning on the two-handed weapon here. On rupture, you're going to use the grandfather, which is your two-handed slashing or pole arm, if you do have that. Um, skill-wise, our skill tree is still the same. You're just going to want to have two skills up here. And then you have whirlwind and go to enhanced whirlwind. Then you're going to have your three into pressure point. This is what causes your vulnerable. This is very key. All three points there. Then come over here, put one shout in, or one uh, route, one point in the rallying cry and take it over to strategic rallying cry. If you are having issues with your fury, go ahead and pop it over here to tactical rallying cry instead. One point into challenging shout. Let's just kill her. And then uh, one point into enhanced challenging shout. See how we're just killing her like it's nothing. It's just, just crazy. Uh, four points into war cry, enhanced to power war cry, but four points into war cry in general. Kill that thing that's hitting me. I don't even know what it was. Uh, swiftness, put three there because remember, this is a speed build. Um, also, oops. Sorry about that. Hold on just a minute. Saw something there. Um, let's see here. We're here. Uh, yeah, into speed. You're going to want to go right there so you can run faster. Then two points into damage reduction right here. 
Oh, by the way, we tried taking this out. We don't want to take that out because that's 48% damage reduction. Um, that's what just makes us pretty much unkillable. Uh, you have three over to Booming Voice and, of course, three over into the Raid Leader. So that way, Tyrael's Might will just always proc since you're always healed up all the time. Um, over here, you're going to put one into Rupture just to enhance Rupture only. And then one point into Hamstring so you could max out Cut to the Bone. So the bleeding effects effects uh, for vulnerable enemies. One point into thick skin, so you get three down in counter offensive for fortify. And then heavy handed right here. You're gonna want that on your amulet as you saw. Uh, then also here. Uh, and then the last point is the gushing wounds. So at that point, um, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here because I'll probably die. Does it matter if I die? You know what? We have enough points to open this up. Let's go ahead and open this up. We're, we're actually going to summon um, this. Now, I know some people may or may not have troubles with their uh, little Hellborn boss that comes. So here's another little showcase about the Hellborn boss. You, you'll, everything just dies. That's all That's all we know, right? Everything is just going to die uh, once this runs out. Look, uh, we we actually have some unique, uh, unique drop up here. Hold up. Trade out some gloves for some gloves. All right. So uh, this is the wanted levels going down like G GT, GTA. So let's wait for that. Pick up this stuff. We're also going to make it a little more interesting. Where is the mine thing? Here, we're going to pump it up by 10 levels. Here's the Hellborn. And there goes the Hellborn. And we pumped them up. All right, uh, let's get rid of our short shorts. Grab those boots, grab that, grab that, and grab that. All right, we're going to skedaddle out of here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Paragon tree. Exclamation point build in chat if you want the planner. All right, so now we're going over the Paragon tree, guys. Like I said, I'm doing this video all in one shot so you could see it. Paragon tree, you're going to want to max out your might, at least get these to 15 first and then go to 21. But might, disembowel, exploit, ire, martial, and wrath. You're going to want all those. Now, I'm just going to go briefly over this paragon tree. All you have to do is pause uh, so you could actually look at this. So you could just copy it if you like to. Your first one, you're going to use exploit. Your second board, you're going to go to the Flawless Technique board and put Ire inside of there. We're going moving on to the third board. Your third board, you're going to go to Carnage and click on Might to put it in there. Your next board, you're going to choose Bone Breaker and go to Wrath right there. There you are. And then your next board, you have Decimator and you're gonna choose to put Demolish in there. This is gonna give you a lot of vulnerable. And then the last, not the last board, second to last board, you have Blood Rage and you're gonna wanna go ahead and put Disembowel right there in that board. And then the very, very last board is, of course, your blood. Um, I'm sorry, your hemorrhage board, which is for your bleeding damage. And you just bloop right to there. Now, I've already taken the route to try to go through dexterity versus strength on this board. So everything is routed to maximum dexterity so you can get higher critical strike chance. So that is the build that i have been working on i don't i've i we just went over it today it doesn't look like there was anything else that we could actually do to make this even better um we will still keep trying different things <coughs> as time progresses but overall i think we're pretty satisfied this is just a sloppy drive-by split speed fast build super fast and 
I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. We did reach 500 subscribers on YouTube. We're going for that thousand. And I appreciate you guys watching.